Felkinan model is a very important tool when it comes to predict the stereochemistry of addition reaction to a carbonyl compound when the carbonyl group is attached to a chiral center. But in normal Felkinan model what we have is a only one prochiral center which is the carbonyl group itself. But whenever you have a prochiral center in your nucleophile also then the problem is bit complicated and this is a problem where you can see the carbonyl compound itself has a chiral center so we have to use the felkinan model to predict its stereochemical outcome but at the same time the nucleophile also contains this center which is a prochiral center and after the reaction it will generate two stereo centers or two chiral centers so we have we also have to use the Zimmerman Taxler model to explain the stereochemical outcome of this particular reaction you are watching chemistry lover and let's start today's topic so let me first draw this particular carbonyl compound in the Newman projection formula in order to predict its stereochemical outcome by the Felkinan model. So if we draw the Newman projection formula of it, it will look like this. So we are watching this uh, aldehyde group from here and now you can see by doing so if we place the phenyl group here what we will have so we will have if the phenyl group is uh, is coincident with this hydrogen that is it is it is seen to this hydrogen then you can see this hydrogen is above the plane so it will go at the right hand side and this methyl will go at the left hand side and now if we just rotate this structure so we are rotating this side that is clockwise direction if we rotate the structure in the clockwise direction what we will have is this one the phenyl group will go here the methyl will go there and the hydrogen will come here now you can see this is the most stable conformation and the as well as the most reactive conformation of the molecule because in this particular conformation this phenyl group is perpendicular to the carbonyl and where it can have the interaction with the pi star orbital of this carbonyl so that will make it reactive and at the same time it is stable because you are putting the large group away from both hydrogen and this oxygen now in this particular conformation you can see the attack will take place from here so from this side the attack will take place the nucleophile will attack from this side and if we represent this nucleophile by n u star what we will get as our product is this one so here you have the phenyl here you have the methyl here you have the hydrogen and now you will have one hydrogen over here this oxygen over here so finally it will become oh and here you have the n u star up to this it is very simple it is the normal felkinan model which we used to predict the stereochemistry but the important part here is this nucleophile itself is a chiral chiral molecule so here you will have a chiral center which will be generated that's why i represent it by any star but before uh, be, before going to that let me draw it in uh, in the given conformation so you can see the phenyl group will be here uh, the methyl group is below the plane this hydrogen is above the plane and here we are generating this so now if we play, place this a new star over here so what will come above so you can see we have to decide whether it is 3 or erythroid in this particular case you can see so this hydrogen this hydrogen they are gauche and uh, this OH and this phenyl they are also gauche and this NU star and this methyl they are gauche so all these are gauche and we uh, if we if we uh, arrange this in this type of priority we can call it a 3O isomer and you can see now uh, the phenyl 
and this nucleophile here they are anti and here also this phenyl and the nucleophile they are anti so if we place this phenyl and this nucleophile anti to one another then we have to put this OH and methyl gauche and this hydrogen hydrogen gauche and we can do it by placing this hydrogen here and this OH here so this is the case this is the new stereoisomer which is generated in the reaction but what about the stereochemistry of this center to predict the stereochemistry of this center we have to use the zimmerman traxler model now how we can do that so for that we know that the reaction goes through a six member chair like transition state because the lithium is here and it will coordinate with this oxygen as well as this aldehydic oxygen so the we place the lithium here and now we draw a six member chair like transition state so this is our aldehyde this is our aldehyde and we put here we put the hydrogen here we put the r group r star so this group we are representing by r star and you can see uh, in the chair like transition state we have to place this r star equatorial because this hydrogen is sterically less bulky and this r star group is sterically bulky so that's why we have to place this in the equatorial position and this hydrogen in the axial position and for the enolate case you can see if we place this oxygen here now we will have uh, this double bond over here and uh, we can see this oli and this methyl they are anti to one another so that means we have to place so this group that means this large so this is basically or group o a r group o this large aromatic ring we represent it by ar so this o a r group and this o a r group then we have to place uh, here sorry let me first do it like this so we have to just extend it somewhat this now here you have two position one is axial one is equatorial now what i was discussing that this methyl and this oxygen they are anti to another so this is basically trans enolate so this is trans enolate because this oxygen and methyl they are uh, trans to one another and in the trans enolate we have to place the methyl group here because that's how we can make it trans you can see this methyl and this oxygen they are trans to one another so it will automatically put this oar group in this axial position so this is the stable or this is the this is the stable uh, transition state for the Zimmerman Traxler model of the reaction and it will give you a product like this so here we go so we have this hydrogen over here this R dashed group over here this OLI over here and now here you can see you have this methyl you have this so sorry sorry i did a mistake so here we would have this hydrogen right so this methyl group the, this group is hydrogen so here we have the hydrogen actually the oar group will be here so this is the oar group you can see it is directly attached to this carbon where the oxygen is so that means uh, here you will have this O C O O A R and here this hydrogen so this is the product what we will get after the reaction now this stereochemistry should be manifested here so now if we place this C O O A R over here so what will be the stereochemistry of this center now you can see so this will be after the reaction it will be OH right so now we have to find out the relation between this center and this center now if you look here uh, this COOAR group and this R star group they are anti to one another and actually this is the R star group this large group is the R star group and this R star group and this COOAR group this here also it is 
and to one another so all the other groups will have the same relationship now the other group means this hydrogen this hydrogen and this methyl and this OH and you can see here this hydrogen and the another hydrogen they are anti to one another whereas this methyl and this OH they are also anti to one another so we have to put so this hydrogen is above the plane that means here the hydrogen will be below the plane that's why they will be anti to one another and this OH and this methyl if we put the methyl above uh, this OH and this methyl will have anti relationship so this is the structure of our product you can see right? and we predicted this product by using the Felkinan model as well as the Zimmerman Traxler model so this one is a very important problem a very interesting problem and I hope that you understood the concept you understood how to solve this type of problems uh, thank you for watching and share this video with your friends if you like this video give a thumbs up best of luck